Tommy McLean's men went into this game unbeaten against the Pars and they made a good start. Robbie Winters, who sliced through the Pars defence, composed himself well and he was close there. United pressed hard to break the deadlock. Eric Pedersen sees Winters in space, but the sharp right foot of the Norwegian forces Westwater to tip over. The Pars were really under intense pressure now. Gary McSwagan's cross back to Winters with Ian Westwater in the right place to stop a United lead. So, the opening goal had to come, and when it did, it was spectacular. Andy McLaren, a tremendous left foot volley, right over the top of everyone, including Westwater. The second half, and the Pars eager to get back on level terms. Dijkstra fumbled and claims for a penalty after French was fouled, but Sandy Roy said no. Here the United defence exposed, Stephen Presley fails to clear and Jerry Britton came very close there. Another superb goal coming up and it's a battle between McLaren and Derek Fleming for one of the goals of the campaign, the equaliser bursting Dijkstra's net. No chance for the on-form keeper. Two great goals. Dunfermline could have gone ahead with Jerry Britton again cutting through the United back four just off target there. But the Pars pressed hard and Hamish French thought his side were on course to go 2-1 up. Keep your eye on this one, Stephen Presley doing brilliantly to keep the ball out. Tommy McLean though furious with his defence. But United continued their fine unbeaten run with the winner in the dying minutes. Perry's cross and substitute Shell Olofsson snatched the three points. He does it so often. Another good finish from the Scandinavian and Dunfermline go home with nothing. I think this is where we find that uh, people are getting short change. You look about us here, you see the pieces of paper all over the park uh, it's totally wrong, I think really we've got to look and be realistic this isn't a day for football, uh, I think it was two teams that went out but in terms of we're moaning and groaning that we're front players but really if I was a front player today there's no way you could uh, assess when the ball was being delivered and when it was arriving at the right time Well in spite of that, that's how the Bells Premier Division looks this evening, Rangers lead over Celtic cut now to five points although the Ibrox club do have a superior goal difference. Dundee United now look a safe bet for that third spot and a place in Europe. In the lower half, Motherwell and Hibs have opened up a slight gap on the bottom two of Kilmarnock and Wraith Rovers.